Some local families have found a way around the law meant to keep them safe. It's a debate that questions whether unpasteurized milk is safe to drink. Nine News reporter Jessica Knoll tells us how one mom found a legal way to serve raw milk to her family. The state of Ohio doesn't want Rebecca Ullenbrock to serve her family this milk, but she's found a way around a law to give her family the milk she prefers. In studying raw milk versus pasteurized milk and seeing the differences, I knew that, that if I were going to drink milk, that raw milk would be the milk that I would drink. She made the choice nine years ago to go raw or unpasteurized for her now grown family. However, the law in Ohio clearly states she cannot buy unpasteurized milk. So Ullenbrock bought the cow. I get it through my farmer, through a herd share program, and I own a part of the cow. And through that um, herd share, paying him monthly, then he, I am, for one herd share, I am allowed one gallon of milk per week. Three years ago, a judge ruled herd share programs were the only way to buy raw milk legally. The Ohio Department of Agriculture tells Nine News in a statement that it's dangerous to drink unpasteurized milk. Unpasteurized milk can carry dangerous bacteria like salmonella, E. coli, and listeria. Pasteurization is a process that kills these harmful bacteria. Uhlenbrock's farmer agrees that the bacteria is killed, but he says not for the better. When milk is pasteurized, everything is destroyed. The the back, all the bacteria, good and bad. The FDA states on its website that raw milk can cause vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, fever, and headache, which can be short-lived or chronic, but Uhlenbrock says she'll stick to what she calls the real thing. Drink real milk and not the uh, cooked milk that is in the grocery stores. In Oxford, Jessica Knoll, 9 News. Interesting, and this topic is heating up our Facebook page right now. And you can join the conversation. Go to WCPO.com to read about the risks and possible benefits of raw milk.